Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't you follow me, Mike. Hi there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All right, so the goal is let's go ahead and do the last, I think it's the end of chapter two or three, but we'll see. Really need to figure out to get more of the smaller stuff. Like, tomahawks, throwing knobs. Oh, I don't think Jose is already in. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Uh, you couldn't see him. Come in, sir. I feel bad. I'm like, who just opened the door? Uh, this way, sir. Oh. A gentleman the to time. see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. I'll let him drop. I don't want to drop. Why am I even dropping off anyway? Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. I don't know you're thinking this hell about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he's giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose oh, no, knows what he's doing. Does he, though? He's a master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's done with security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you. Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yep. These roads suck. Oh, I have to say here. Wait, oh, we're going to there. Hold up a second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? 
in what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. You gotta do first person. Yeah. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine Both bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks have got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. While the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill the guy was the play. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Oh, it's a Molotov. Okay. feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? 
This should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred one of their manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Fire bottle. There's someone coming on the left. The wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. How many people is this the play? Oh, you douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Douse the tobacco fields with moonshine. This is gonna be a challenge. I didn't see the percentage. It's a big jug, but I'm pouring this much. Should be enough for here. I need this guy to turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, don't turn around because you wouldn't be as bored. Dang, that was close. That's good. That should do it. Alright, there's three more places. Don't think that guy will see me. He stopped and I was thinking he was going to come this way. Dun 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 dun. I 
Alright, you turn around now. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, it is. You didn't hear me. Drop this? I have to go back that way? Oh, I don't have the moonshine on me anymore. Okay. One person left. We're going to build this too. After you, sir. Just chuck it in there. Woo! Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody things. Freaking, he killed me. Okay. Oh, let me do this. Okay. I'm gonna tell this too. Alright, now this time let's not just walk move into things. Takes you go, Arthur. Tie her up. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Haha! <laughs> now let's go loot yourselves a fat cigar. You'll pay for this! I'm trying to run off another bot. We're hearing problems with that dude. This is a goddamn mess. 
The wagon we saw come in earlier. He can lick the horses from that. All right, where is he? This way. Four guards coming in. Did you really go the other way? He did. Pretty. I guess uh, we don't work for the Grizz anymore. My first thought. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Probably where I need to go next anyway. I think 425 too. Challenges next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. Baka wants to speak with us. Currently, after the last two episodes I've recorded the session, we're at 36 and a half, which isn't too bad. Um. So next time I'll see you then.